Hello, my name is Brian Jean. I'm an Enterprise Networking Tactical Solutions Architect with Cisco. And I'm here with you today to cover how you can leverage Cisco's DNA Center to help you automate the deployment of Cisco's Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agents on Catalyst 9000 switches. What we're looking at here is a high-level overview of the process. The first step is to have a Thousand Eyes accounts created and have access to your portal. Next, you'll need to download and deploy the agent. This can be done manually, or as we're about to see in an automated fashion with DNA Center. Once the installation is complete, the agent will go ahead and register with your portal instance, and you'll be ready to start building tests to get better understanding and visibility into your enterprise networking environment. So here we are in my Thousand Eyes portal. Again, this was the first step is having this portal set up and running. And this is a screen where you would manually go to add an enterprise agent. Just to show you what that would look like. If you click here, we'd go on Cisco application hosting. Um, a few things I want to point out here. Number one is a group token. Uh, we'll come back to that in a moment later on in the demo. This is the link to manually download that image uh, if you want to copy it onto your switch. And then here's the installation guide link and also there's some command sample instructions you can use, iOS commands that is, to go ahead and configure and get that agent up and running on your host. Instead of doing this way, of course, we're going to leverage DNA Center. So here we are in DNA Center. I'm going to go ahead and kick off the workflow that lets us automate the deployment of that Thousand Eyes, a Thousand Eyes agent. So we'll click on the main menu, provision, app hosting for switches. This will bring me to a library of what apps I have already set up to host here on DNA Center. We're going to choose this Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent 3.0. This is the latest and greatest agent that also works on a Cat 9K switch with or without an SSD drive. I go ahead and click install. Now I have to choose where I'm going to deploy that, where, I, where in the geography I want to deploy that agent to. I'm going to choose my building 300 here in my Box Pro Massachusetts lab. Go ahead and click Next. Uh, now DNA Center goes out because it knows of our inventory, gives us that single pane, glass, pane of glass point of view. We can see which switches are available and ready and which ones are capable of running the agent. As you can see here, I've got a CAT 9300 that is ready and meets all the requirements as far as software version, memory capacity, etc. We're going to go ahead and choose this guy to install the agent on. I click Next. I have to choose a VLAN. I'm going to choose VLAN 16. DNA Center knows what VLANs are already provisioned on the switch. or set up for dynamic addressing, just like any other end host client would be. If you want to set up a static IP, that's entirely possible as well. The last thing I want to show down here is these runtime options. These are options that get passed via be the install process to the container, the Docker container when it runs. And there's some specific, specific settings we want to get there. First off, you'll see here is this account token. Uh, I referenced that briefly. If I go back into my Thousand Eyes portal, I have an account token here set up. It ends in BPCK. This token string is what uniquely identifies uh, the agent to belong to my particular Thousand Eyes instance. So we want to make sure these match so the agent shows up in the right account on that, the Thousand Eyes side. So again, we're ending in BPCK. If I look at the options here, that's what we have here, BPCK. Um, the other parameters that are interesting here, I've got some network configuration for a proxy. My particular Thousand Eyes agent in my lab requires a, a proxy in order to get out to the internet and register with Thousand Eyes service. And that's what's set up here. We'll go ahead and we'll click Next. Next again, reviewing the settings. Click Provision, and this is going to go out and start the process. It generally takes a couple minutes to deploy. We'll go ahead and pause the video momentarily so you don't have some dead time as the agent gets installed. As you can see, the, the workflow is now completed. The status is we have the agent provisioned on our switch. We'll go ahead and click Next. This brings us to a summary screen. Everything looks good. Nothing failed. In this case, we only had one device. This is the application management screen. On this screen, you can do things like start and stop your agent, upgrade the app on the agent, or even remove the application. Now let's go over and check on the Thousand Eyes side. Close this up. So you can see, we'll just give this a refresh. You can see we have a new agent down there installed that is yellow. It's just coming online, getting up to the right version, and checking in with the Thousand Eyes install process. We'll give this another minute or two, and this should be complete as well. As you can see, the agent's come online. It's been upgraded and fully registered, and it's ready to go. You're now ready to go ahead and run some tests on your newly in installed agent.